I'm here with the Goat Sue Bird. So, um, yeah, what are your thoughts about the way these players are working out their way towards getting into the USA basketball team? Yeah, um, man, when I walked in, I was blown away by the talent. Right away you can see, I mean, I think there's 18 players in camp. Um, right away you can see it's going to be a tough choice for the committee, but that's always the case with USA Basketball. I think the, the thing that stuck out the most outside of the talent was really just how everybody was getting along, everybody was cheering each other on, and it's really nice to see that um, the core of USA Basketball has always been that, and that hasn't changed. Um, and that's really what wins you gold medals. Talent, of course, the camaraderie and, and the ability to come together, you know, put individual things to the side for the betterment of the team. That's always what's going to get you that gold. And what are you over, and what are you all thoughts about the fact that this summer is going to be the first Olympic USA basketball team without you in it since you know you played the last Olympics yeah. a few years ago like how much do you miss playing basketball yeah. um, you know I miss playing basketball during the playoffs I'm sure I'll miss it when I when I uh, when I watch the Olympics this summer but it was my time to go and I think the beauty of like I said walking into the gym and seeing all the talent I mean it is in amazing hands and I feel really good about that and I'm excited to be a fan yeah, and when you see when you see your former teammates, well, your former teammate from USA, Diana Taurasi, yeah. and your former teammates from not from Seattle, Seattle and yeah. Brianna Stewart and Jewel Lloyd come together to actually have another shot to yeah. a shot for another gold medal together. I mean, like, what kind of like engages you? What engages me? Yeah. Uh, honestly, I think you know those three players in particular have um, been kind of front row seat to their careers for a very long time. You know, for Jewel and Stewie. I started playing with them when they were like 21, 22 years old. So to see them now, to see them be vets on USA Basketball and, and kind of change their role in that way, I feel like a proud mom in a way, right? It's like watching your kids do something. Um, I've always felt that way about them, always wanted to be a part of their growth. But to see them now, they're doing so amazing. It's always fun for me to watch. And then Diana, of course, I mean, it's, it's one of my closest friends. We experienced so much together on and off the court. And so to, to watch her go for a sixth gold medal, unprecedented, unreal. Uh, there's one player who's deserving of that. It's D. So it's, it's really fun to, to watch her on that journey, too. And what are your expectations for us, for the players that never played USA basketball? Yeah. But like, um, Kalia Copper, Penajale, <laughs> Sabrina Nescu. Right. Like, do, I, I, what, do you ex, what are your expectations as far as their game elevated to the Olympic gold yeah. medal status? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think every USA basketball team has to have, like, a really good mix of players. It can't just be all, you know four, five, six-time Olympians, that'd be, you'd be kind of old if we did that, right? And it can't all be one-time, first-time Olympians. There has to be a really good mix. So with, you know, a veteran group that, that obviously exists, it's really nice to have those first-timers. They bring um, a different perspective. Sometimes ignorance is bliss in a good way. They bring an energy, a youthfulness, I mean, an eagerness. Um, and I think it's really beneficial for, for USA teams to have that type of youth. But then again, the players you named, whether it's Kalia, Benajah, Sabrina, they were at the World Cup. So they do have a little bit of experience there. Um, obviously not at the Olympics, but it's not like they're far into all of it. So I think it's a really good mix. Appreciate the insight. No